Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a little sit-down video and I'm just going to show you guys my Notion page. Actually, I featured them in my previous video already and a lot of you guys have requested for me to do a full tour and that's what I'm going to be doing today because I'm kind of has allowed me to just organize everything that I need in one space and it's just so convenient and so helpful in that way. Also, since it's 2023, I just want to organize all of my goals and my plans for the next year and set up like a system. Because from the previous year, I don't have a system to really organize and to track my progress towards my goals. So I just kind of lost it. I just want my New Year's resolutions to not just stay as resolutions. I want to actually work towards them. Anyway, so let's get on with the tour. My dashboard is pretty much the same as you've seen it in the previous video since as I said nga, I love how my Notion looks like. It just screams Jella to me and that's something that I love about Notion. You can always customize it to what you need and to how you want the aesthetic to look like. Here I just have the time. I also have the weather here since I'm filming a lot and I want to see the weather for the whole uh, week so that I can schedule if I want to film inside or if I want to film outside. And then I also have here the calendar. I have here my navigation page. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pages under my dashboard. I have here my notebooks. Basically, I write digital notes now. There are other pros that are super fast to change the slides. And I just find it more convenient if I'm just using my laptop to type. Because I think I'm faster in typing now. Other than that, I also have here a daily check-in. I just write something new that I learned today. It's basically like a mini journal. It could be like a quote that I saw on IG or it could be like something that my prof said or just something that struck me. Today, I have this quote from IG. It says, Dream as if you'll live forever and live as if you'll die today. Medyo nagpo-procrastinate kasi ako masyado this past few days and I feel like this will just remind me of getting things done because Hindi ka sure ko na magyari tomorrow. Also have here on this side a little countdown, and I cannot believe that we're 91 percent through 2022. Like parang pumalik sa sa YouTube mga 20, mga February 2022. So that's like 10 months ago, and I can't believe na our community has grown so much this year. So I'm really really thankful. I also have here a countdown para sa end of the semester. We're so close. So na, I'm so excited to go home to Batangas. Speaking of the end of the semester, we're finals now in this next few weeks. So that's why my school deadline board over here is so full. Actually, before, we filter the deadlines for the next week. So since finals month, I want to be able to see all of my big projects just so I have my mind ready for them. For Mindsetting them. And then down here, I also have a YouTube overview. Basically, I organize all of my deliverables here. And I'm gonna be blurring this out because I don't want you to see all of the videos that I have planned out for you guys. But yeah, I'm really excited to be filming this videos. And over here, I also have my favorite study playlist. Basically, I have here yung parang chill vibes lang. Kapag chill ka lang nagagawa ng discussion board or something. Pero yung kapila naman, it's like the speed running and assignment playlist. Kapag 11.59 na yung deadline, tapos ngayon mo palang ginagawa. Ito yung pinaplay ko and it works really well, guys. I'm gonna be linking these down below also. That's basically it for my dashboard. It gives me an overview of everything, but the pages under my notion, it's a whole different story. So, let's get into it. I actually have my school page over here. Under the school page, I have an assignment and exam schedule. Whenever my prof announces something or kapag may bagong uh, assignment or assessment na napost sa canvas, I immediately put it here. Konyare nag um, brainstorm ako on what to put in my assessments. I can take notes here and even share it to other people. I can send a link to other people so they could actually edit it also. So it's perfect for collaborating with uh, group mates in case you're working on group projects. And then I have here my weekly to-do list. I just organize all the things that I need to do in a week just so I can see it and set my mind to it. I, I think it's pretty much the same as how I featured it before except there are parang headers here. Just so kita ko again for what subject siya or you know, para lang more organized okay. Then again, I have here my weekly course schedule because I always forget. Okay, so here naman I have my file cabinet. Basically, I organize everything here. Kung yung gusto mo makita yung mga files ko for let's say Philo 12, it looks overwhelming right now. But if I filter it, I'll be able to see and look for the files. And then nandito din yung mga links to my other school files just so I have everything handy whenever I need them. And then, of course, I have my work page. Again, I'm a student YouTuber. I, I, I'm so not comfy with talking about, I mean, calling myself a student YouTuber. 
But yeah, let's say I'm a student that posts on YouTube. <laughs> I have here all of my deliverables. Again, I'm gonna be blurring this out. Okay, actually, I don't know how I'll do that, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'm also trying to be more active on IG, and I hope I'll be able to fulfill that in 2023. So that's why I'm wearing the IG deliverables dito. Actually, I also wanna start TikTok, but I'm a little shy. Ako. Like, I don't know how the TikTok world looks like, or like, what the content that I've worked on. So I'll have to figure that out in 2023. But yeah, definitely I'll be using Notion to organize all of my posts there too if ever I'll be active next year. And then, oh my gosh, my expenses. Yung monthly cap na to, yung 8K. <sighs> Medyo na stress na ako kasi hindi ko yung keep. I mean, I haven't been very consistent. And again, that's something that I want to work on. Just put here all of my expenses and then I categorize it also. Kung laundry pa siya, for transpo ba, for food or home. Beauty, beauty, <laughs> or essentials, and then pwede ko makita dito kung nare um, for transportation. How much do I spend for transport this month? Or, sorry, hindi pala na filter per month. Okay, there na filter ko na siya, and now again, it's like November 27 right now, and I've already spent 8,682. Girl, <laughs> and I'm gonna be um, going out for the next few days, so definitely I won't be able to meet my monthly cap. We're gonna work towards that next year. Because for sure, I won't keep this December since I'm going to be buying a lot of things and gifts and uh, spending on parties and stuff. So, <sighs> next 2023 na lang. Babalikan kita sa 2023, promise. Of course, my new pages I have here, my manifestation board. A lot of it are still long-term goals, but I just want to keep it here just so Wala lang. Feel ko lang uh, mas may inspire ko if I can see both my short term and long term goals in this manifestation board. I won't dive deep into each of them. Yung main theme ng manifestation board na to would just be like personal life. My dog. I miss my dog. <laughs> and then of course I want to travel more next year. Hopefully manifesting na makupunta ako sa Korea next year. And then I also want to travel locally. I have here La Union, Siargao, Cebu, Singapore. Oh, that's not local. <laughs> And then here, of course, YouTube is here. And then I want to collab with more people. I want to work with other brands. And I just have here some of my dream brands to collab with. And yeah. Definitely, I'll be adding continuously in this manifestation board. But I just feel like whenever I feel down, and pag nakita ko na yung weekly to do list ko, tas na overwhelm na ako, feeling ko babalik balikan ko tong manifestation board na to just to remind myself of what I'm working towards this coming year. For my habit tracker naman, I wanted to be more focused on personal development and maintaining my physical and mental wellness. Whenever I set goals or habits that I want to achieve, parang hindi siya natutuloy. With this habit tracker, I'll be able to see talaga yung progress ko. Okay, actually, I started this last week lang just to prepare for 2023. As you can see, we're not doing super <laughs> great. But that's okay. Like, we accept the progress. Kasi now, kita nyo, nakapag-workout ako four times this week. Then journaling, I've been very consistent. Yung taking vitamins, guys, hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi ko to nagagawa. When it's the easiest, definitely I have to work on that. Yung reading a chapter per day, that's something that I really want to be able to achieve this next year. Although, three times ko lang siya nagawa in the past week. But that's okay. That's progress. And yan, makikita ko kung ilang beses ko na siya na-check. And I feel like it will be so satisfying kapag nakita ko na 30 days siya out of 30 days. Feel ko sobrang ma-happy ako nun. So, yeah. Basically, I have here again my Pomodoro timer. Nakalink lang siya dito. So, yeah. That's basically it for this Notion tour. I hope you guys enjoy that. I super love how my Notion looks like right now because I just feel like it has everything that I need. And I have my new pages like my manifestation board and my habit tracker which I feel like will help me commit more to my goals. Claiming it guys, 2023 will be our year and I'm sure we'll have different goals but then with Notion it's customizable so you can always build up your own personalized dashboard with all the pages that you need. So yeah, you can sign up for Notion using the link in the description box below. I'm also gonna be linking my own template down below. I didn't make this from scratch. I'm also gonna be adding my reference and I'm manifesting that 2023 will be our year. I'm calling it already. I'm I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it for us, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Comment down below what videos you think I should do next. And subscribe to my channel for more videos about me. Again, it has been Chella. I still need to recover from another love. Oh, would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your